Hello! In this video, we will explain the process of setting up seven sensors on the Huawei Smart Logger. First, we need to connect the irradiance sensor and the external sensors. Before we proceed with the connection, let's get to know our sensors. Our product set consists of the main sensor, which is the irradiance sensor, and the connectable external sensors, which are the ambient temperature sensor, the model temperature sensor, the wind speed sensor, the wind direction sensor. The connectors that link the external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no risk of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect the iridium sensor box and the external sensors. Once the connection process of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for the power and communication of the irradiance sensor. The brown, white, yellow, and green wires at the other end are connected to the power supply and data logger to power and communicate the sensor. The brown wire connects to the power supply plus, the white wire connects to the power supply minus, Seven sensors operate with a voltage of 12 to 30 VDC. The recommended voltage is 24 VDC. The green and yellow wires are connected to the Modbus ports on the Smart Logger. The Smart Logger has three Modbus communication ports. After choosing which port you are going to connect to, connect the green wire to the input specified as Data Plus and the yellow wire to the input specified as data minus. If more than one device is connected to the port you have connected, the device IDs must be different. The baud rate and parity values must be the same. If you want to change the sensor ID, you can do so by using the seven sensor configuration tool. Once the connection cable between the data logger and the sensor is completed, the sensor must be added to the data logger. There is an internet browser interface for this process. To connect to the data logger interface, the computer to be used and the data logger must be connected to the same network. A web browser opens on a computer on the same network as the data logger. A search is made by typing the IP address of the data logger into the web browser. If the necessary connections have been established correctly, the corresponding interface is opened. If you do not know the IP address of the data logger, you must ask the person who installed it. Once the configuration interface page is opened, enter the username, the password, and click the login button. Go to the maintenance page on the screen that appears. Click on Connect Device under the Hidden Device Management on the left pane of this page. The configuration of seven sensors by the Smart Logger is done from the Add Devices section in the lower part of the screen that opens. Once the Add Device window is open, select the EMI or EMI option in the Device Type section. Then, in the Connection Mode section, select Modbus RTU option and in the port number section select COM or COM. The address section is the ID address of the sensor. Finally, click on the Add Devices button. If there are no problems with your cable connections, the Add Device process will complete successfully. Once the process of adding devices is completed, go to the monitoring section at the top of the page. Select the ME we have added from the devices on the left side of this section. Go to the Running Param section of the device we selected. After that, in the ME Model section, choose Other. In the Synchronize Environments Data section, choose Disable. In the Master Slave section, choose Slave Mode. For the Read Function Code section, 
This section must be selected according to the type of register we want to read, input or holding. In data reporting mode section, select integer. In the word ordering section, choose big Indian. In the read mode section, choose single read. At the bottom of the page, there is the sensor configuration section. In order of the sensors to be displayed on the monitoring screen, the signal address section must be completed in accordance with the sensor registration addresses. For sensors that are not connected or that you do not wish to be displayed on the monitoring screen, the code 65535 must be entered instead of the registration address. The spaces indicated as custom at the bottom are used to define another sensor which is not on the screen. The register addresses of the sensors that are connected and whose data we want to check are entered as follows. To the total iridium section, the register is 5. To ambient temperature section, the register is 17. To PV model temperature section, the register is 16. To the wind speed section, the register is 3. To the wind direction section, the register is 19. If you want to see the data of the relative humidity sensor, relative humidity is written in the custom section and the register address is 18. If you want to see the data of the internal temperature sensor, internal temperature is written in the custom section and the register is 15. After the register addresses are entered correctly, the coefficient selection process must be done correctly in the section specified as gain. The gain coefficient of the data whose registration address is entered is selected as 10. After all these are done, the saving process is performed with the submit option at the bottom. After the configuration process is successfully done, you can follow the sensors instantly from the running info section. Thank you for your time.